Over the span of six and a half plus years, I've done all different types of videos covering a wide variety of topics. But looking back, one type of video I have never ever done to my recollection, whether it's the old Off the Rope Show channel or here at OTRS Central, was a WWE unboxing video. I know this is a thing. People love to talk about merch and toys and everything else. So I might as well throw my hat, figuratively, into the ring and give it a crack. As OJ would say, let's take a stab at it and see what happens. Now, all these epic and awesome unboxing videos, mine is just an incredibly lame one. Here we go. WWE unboxing, even though it's not a box at all. It's just a bag because I only got a couple of things. So let's see what the Schleg Daddy got here. It's a couple of shirts. The first one is, ah, yes, yes, yes. After all those years of being a raging taker mark, it only makes sense that I would get my very own thank you taker shirt because I feel it's appropriate. And with all the current superstars in WWE, most of them, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing their merch. I've got to go back to the ultimate of part-timers, the GOAT of WWE. And it's really, honestly, a, a pretty slick design, if I say so. Um, one thing I did notice, though, as I was looking at WWE Shop, and they had that special buy one shirt, get one for a penny, which is the only reason my broke ass got a couple, is most of the shirts are black. It was just strange. Of course, it makes sense for Taker. But like 90% of the shirts are black and I get it and I kind of understand it, but I was looking for something that wasn't a black shirt just to mix it up a little bit. So I got one more shirt and this one of course is not a black one at all. It figures this is one of my favorite tag teams of all time. They're back in WWE and I actually feel like they've earned the right for me to spend some money on their merch. And if anything else, I could pretend I spent full money on the Taker shirt and a penny on this Hardy Boy shirt. For a penny, it's a pretty good deal. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like the fact, again, that it's not a black shirt. It's a lighter colored shirt. It's actually something I wouldn't be ashamed of wearing in public um, and supporting and rocking the gear of a team that I enjoyed tremendously in the Attitude Era and frankly throughout the years. And now they're back home, so what the hell, why not? Well, that's it. Yeah, if you thought it was going to be a bunch more, it's just those two shirts. Um, so yeah, this was an incredibly lame WWE unboxing, but I can assure you there's going to be some more. And some of them will probably be really, really good with some really, really nice merch. This one's just, eh, okay. And speaking of t-shirts, I know I bought a couple, but again, it was kind of one of those things. I realized I didn't have a lot of WWE shirts, nor did I have a lot of people that I wanted to buy shirts of. So outside of the legends that aren't there anymore, I looked at like Taker and the Hardys, and I thought, okay, that's a good compromise. If you're in the mood to buy some shirts, don't go to wweshop.com. Go to the OTRS Central Store on Pro Wrestling Tees, and get yourself some shirts. Hashtag buy a shirt. Honky's got child support. I'm just saying. That's probably going to be the next unboxing video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thought it was perfectly lame enough. There's going to be more of these coming up in the future. And who knows. Until I get the OTR Essential shirts. Which I ordered all four of them. And you should too. Who? You, 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 all of you. I guess I'll be rocking these in the meantime. That's it. Goodbye.